And you're totally right that like the online interviews are easier to cheat on, but there's all sorts of creative strategies that you can use to help make sure that people aren't able to cheat in an AI interview. For example, you could ask them questions about like their background, about things that aren't in the context of the model that they're trying to use to cheat. You could ask them a problem that's like really hard such that the model's not able to solve it, but if the model has the correct answer, it's able to validate that they got the correct answer. And so there's all sorts of these techniques and I, I think it'll, always be this cat and mouse game, right? Of like the cheating tools get better, the assessments need to get better. And how do you stay at the cutting edge of that? Um, you know, with hopefully some, you, you know, there will still be for a lot of roles, some uh, in-person interviews for things that you really want to be 100% certain that there's no cheating on. I think there are going to be sort of some roles where you might want to do that the in-person whiteboard interview. But one thing that we've thought a lot about is if, the entire economy is going to move towards you know, embracing these AI tools. Uh, we should move towards a world where we assess people based on their ability to use all the tools at their disposal, including those AI tools, um, and judging them based on what they can produce with it. Mm, so the future is that you judge a coder not by the coding abilities, how well they use AI. Well, I mean, you could argue that those are both the same thing, right? A crucial part of coding in the next 10 years is going to be how you use AI and how you use the AI agents to, to accomplish the outcomes that you want. So uh, so the future is judging them with multiple skills, not just like system design, not just algorithmic assessment, just beyond that. So you're going to continue to catch up with that game. Yeah, that's exactly right. So there is, you know, importance of maybe, you know, testing people based on, on those fundamentals. But I think the really important thing to test is if people have all these tools available at their disposal, that can make them much, much more productive, what can they do, right? And if in the real world, on the job, people will have those tools at, those, at their disposal, um, I think it's really, really important to reflect assessments that, uh, to have assessments that reflect the real work. Um, and the real work will involve AI going forward.